Hello again, and one more task before I head home. Actually, we just completed it. I stopped at Tractor Supply, that's closest to my house, to fill up a propane cylinder. Normally, no issues. Today, I went inside so I could use the ladies' room, let the gal know when I was on my way out. I mean, I said on the way in, but I said on the way out that I was headed back out with my vehicle and I'd be ready to get my propane filled. And at that point, it was roughly 4 o'clock. According to the website, they stopped filling propane cans at 5. Now, I stood out there and I was knocking on the sign, because the metal sign and rattling against the chain link. And, uh, another person ro rolls in, they gotta get some propane, and someone else wants to get some propane, and somebody's got three of the tall cans, I don't know how many gallons those are. But, now I'm gonna go home, and I'm probably gonna eat something. I'm probably not going to be real picky about it. It might be beef hot dogs. It might be some other form of beef. It might just even be eggs with some cheese. I don't know. But it's been a long day. I'm about to back out of this parking space next to the oh so pretty cute little chicken coops you get if you're just going to have some chickens in the backyard of your fashionable urban home. We don't even count as urban, so. There's no way I would trust some of these chicken condos to keep some of the large, loose neighborhood dogs out of some chickens. As much as I'd like to have some. But, uh, if you know the joke, chicken's one of my favorite animals, because you need it to make fried chicken. Although I'm not doing fried chicken lately. Although the earliest form of fried chicken, if I remember from watching historic cooking shows and such, was sort of like... I mean, they just pulled it off and dropped it in where it's going to fry. So that was probably in lard or, lard or tallow, no telling. Which would affect the flavor greatly. But apparently that was pub food in the 1600s or maybe the 1500s, I'm not sure. I just remembered that because I think I know the joke about fried chicken. And it's one of those Johnny got in trouble with the teacher again kind of jokes. What's your favorite animal? Fried chicken. <laughs> make the principal laugh, make dad laugh. Okay, what's your favorite live animal? Chicken. Why is that your favorite? Because you use it to make fried chicken? <laughs> but that's just one of the many jokes available online. Not very important one. But I get to take my propane cylinder in my enclosed vehicle. And if you look back there, I've got the window popped down a little bit next to that cylinder because this is an enclosed vehicle. And that can's going to be fumy for a little while. But it's not going to give me a headache. The window and the air conditioning between them will take care of that. I'm just ready to go and get some food. And if somebody has already picked up like a massive pile of the good chicken strips from the little place in Taylor or anything of that nature, I'll eat them. I'm hungry. I'm not quite at 24 hours fasted, but I did work out and a very nice gentleman who noticed, uh, he was right behind me in line for propane. And he noticed I don't move quite right and offered to load my cylinder for me. There's some good people all over the world and I'm lucky enough to run into them. So, 
I'm thinking he must have had a good grandma. Because do what's right, be healthy, be strong, and help somebody. Encourage somebody, do something for somebody. Make it work. Alright, y'all take care. Grandma loves you. Bye-bye.